june twenty third saint ethodreda abbess born and brought up in fear of god her mother and three sisters are numbered among the saints ethodreda had but one aim in life to devote herself to his service in the religious state her parents however had other views for her and in spite of her tears and prayers she was compelled to become the wife of tonbert a tributary of the mercian king she lived with him as a virgin for three years and at his death retired to the isle of ely that she might apply herself wholly to heavenly things this happiness but was short-lived for egfrid the powerful king of northumbria pressed his suit upon her with such eagerness that she was forced into a second marriage her life at his court was that of an ascetic rather than a queen she lived with him not as a wife but as a sister and observing a scrupulous regularity of discipline devoted her time to works of mercy and love after twelve years she retired with her husband's consent to coldingham abbey which she was then under the rule of saint ebba there she received the veil from the hands of saint wilfrid as soon as she left the court of her husband he repented having consented to her departure he followed her meaning to bring her back by force she took refuge on a headland on the coast of coldingham and here a miracle took place for the waters forced themselves a passage around the hill barring further advance of the king the saint remained on the island refuge for seven days till he recognizing the divine will agreed to leave her in peace god who by a miracle confirmed the saint's vocation will not fail us if with a single heart we elect for him in the year 672 she returned to ely and founded there a double monastery the nunnery she governed herself and was by her example a living rule of perfection to her sisters some time after her death in the year 679 her body was found incorrupt and saint bede records many miracles by her relics